A deadly rollover on Tucson's west side in the early morning hours. Tonight, one student is dead. Four other teens are injured. We have a live report. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Corinne Hatala. Tammy Vo has the evening off. New insight tonight into a deadly rollover investigation on Tucson's west side. The call came into Tucson fire as a brush fire, but it turned out to be a car on fire. Tucson police tell none on your side. Five people were in that car when it crashed. Witnesses tell police it rolled near Star Pass in La Choya about 1.30 this morning. No other cars were involved. Not on your side's Valerie Cavazos is live now at the scene. The ages range from mid to late teens. One of the youngest, 16-year-old Gabriel Casillas, died in the accident right, right near the spot where the car rolled over. And when we spoke with some of the neighbors, they were not surprised when they heard what happened. It's not uncommon for people late at night to speed through this area. Those speed limit signs are posted along this stretch of road. This is what police are able to piece together. The driver was speeding down Star Pass Road and lost control as the car crossed the intersection at La Choya Boulevard, drifted to the left and off the road. It was when the driver hit dirt that caused the car to roll. Certainly you add to that an inexperienced driver uh, is not fully able to recover and it leads to uh, pretty deadly results. The car caught fire. When firefighters arrived, they found all of the teens, three males and two females, injured next to the flaming car. Two or three of the teens were thrown from the car and suffered serious injuries. One teenage girl received minor injuries. 16-year-old Gabriel Casillas, who police believe was a passenger, died at the scene. What police still haven't been able to piece together yet is who was behind the wheel. Uh, we have an investigative challenge of trying to identify and get a statement from uh, all of the individuals. Unfortunately, uh, three of them are not in a position to be interviewed at the moment. Because they are in medically induced comas for treatment. Traffic investigators interviewed the only teen who could talk, but it didn't help. Still left a lot of uh, portions unknown uh, because this individual really didn't have a firm understanding as to who the other occupants in that vehicle were. Including the driver? Nobody knows who the driver was? Correct. Now, speed was a factor, but it's not known if alcohol or drugs played a part in this accident. Two or three of the uh, passengers are going to be cited with failing to wear a seatbelt. Corinne? That's such a sad story there. Now, do we know if Gabriel Casillas was wearing a, a seatbelt? Well, at this point, um, police are still trying to figure that out. And it might take uh, those uh, passengers that are at the hospital to recover to finally fill in those details. Um, also, the police say wearing a seatbelt increases a person's chance of survival by 50%. Corinne. 